Well, if you're new to fishing, one of the best ways of fishing the feeder is to use the method feeder. It's such a fantastic way of fishing, especially for the beginner, because once you've got the basics right, it's a self-hooking rig, which means that the fish hook themselves and the rig itself is virtually tangle free as well. So it can be a great way to get started in fishing, especially on today's commercial fisheries. However, if you're gonna be fishing with the method feeder, one of the key things that you need to learn is how to prepare your pellets properly. Most of the time, especially on today's commercial fisheries, we're fishing for carp and sometimes bream, but more often than not, we're using micro pellets to put around the feeder. Now there are loads and loads of different pellets out there in the tattle shops and it, it can be an absolute minefield when you're trying to select the right pellet. Now when you've finally decided on the type of pellet you're going to be using, I transfer them into a tub like this. These boxes are ideal for keeping your pellets fresh and when you've opened a bag it just means that you're not going to be, they're not going to be spilling out into your bag and, or getting wet. So containers like this will keep them fresh. These are the blue sealed tubs so they will keep the pellets nice and dry as well and they're great for storing at home as well. I measure how much is in each one just to give me an idea of what kind of quantity of pellets I'm carrying with me. Now usually the bags that you get from the tackle shop usually are around 900 grams or a kilo and there are in a kilo bag like that there are three pints of pellets. Now I virtually never use more than a pint of pellets obviously it depends how much casting you're going to be doing and how good the fishing is so when you can imagine a bag like that even on a good day you're probably going to get at least three sessions out of a bag like that so don't go mixing the whole bag up so what I do is when I transfer them into um, tubs that I carry them in I put the uh, bag itself into that box just so I know exactly with, you know what type of pellets those are because if you're carrying lots of different types of pellets it's going to be easy to lose track of what you've got and a lot of the places the fisheries that we fish now you've got to use fishery only pellets so by doing this it, it will help you remember which pellets are in each tub so for today's session I'm literally gonna just measure out half a pint of pellets so all I do is use a pint tub like this so I know that's half a pint and all I simply do then is empty them I like to enter them into a slightly larger box and the best way of preparing them is really just to cover them with water simple as that all right and then once you do that you just want to make sure that all the pellets are under the water give them a good mix round so all the pellets are getting soaked and that's it i will leave them now okay so the next job is get them covered back up so we're not going to knock them over or spoil them now as regards the actual length of time that we leave pellets as a general guide we generally say that if you you know you're unfamiliar with the pellets just give them one minute per mil of the diameter of the pellet itself so these are two mil pellets so i'm going to give these two minutes now beware that isn't always going to be the same all right it's very cold today where I am. The water is very, very cold. So these are going to take a little bit longer than normal. However, in summer when the water is warmer, they might only take two minutes. I'm expecting these to take about five minutes today. I'm familiar with these pellets, so I'm going to give them five minutes. But my best bit of advice here is if you're using pellets that you're unfamiliar with or if you go to a fishery and the fishery only pellets and you haven't used them before, just give them one minute per mil to start with. You can always add more water to them afterwards. If they're still not right, you can add water to them. Don't just soak them blind because if you overwet them too much, it's very, very difficult to bring them back and get them into a state where you can actually fish with them so just there on the side of caution you can always add more water later on so these have had five minutes now exactly now these are flavored pellets lots of pellets out there are not flavored um, but even with pellets that aren't flavored as such the water that these have been soaking in is actually loaded with the the scent and the smell of pellets in this case these are f1 sweet so the water that i'm about to drain off is loaded with flavor now, if you're gonna be mixing ground bait, which I'm gonna be mixing ground bait for this session I'm on today, then I'm gonna save that water. All I do is when I drain the water off, these are about five minutes, like I say, so I'm gonna drain that water off into a separate tub. And these are gonna take about another 20 minutes before they're gonna be right for the method feeder. So always, you know, mix these 
pretty much as soon as you get to your peg so that by the time that you're going to start your session or the start of a match these are going to be you know in a, in, a, in a fit state to start fishing with now as you can see they're all wet now so what we need to do now is let some air get to them now they're going to take about 20 minutes before they're going to be all right for the hook so I'll just put them to one side and that is the water that is absolutely loaded with flavor so that water is what I can use to mix my ground bait with it just means that you're going to be giving your ground bait an extra boost of that flavor but like I said even with normal pellets the ones that aren't you know the ones that haven't got extra flavoring like these ones I still use that that water as well because it's just loaded with the scent of pellet so it's been 20 minutes now and as you can see they are ready to go they are lovely really nice and spongy there we go we can squeeze them into a ball which is exactly what you need because you're going to be squeezing them into your method feeder and they all break down into individual pellets absolutely perfect now one of the things that a lot of people do is flavor the pellets and they color them as well i'm you know i love to try and give my pellets a boost i tend to do that more when i'm on fisheries where uh, you've got to use their pellets it just means you're trying to give your bait a little bit of an edge and make it slightly different from everyone else's pellets now when you add the water into your pellets when you're mixing them that's when you can add your flavorings there's all sorts of things you can do there are different sorts of pellet soaks where you can actually color the pellets or you can flavor them there's a lot of loads and loads of different gloves and uh, liquids out there it's almost endless the choice that we've got now and as you can see these ones here they've been done in green I've got some green ones there and I've also got some yellow ones as well again it's down to confidence but it's great fun to experiment with different color pellets and sometimes just doing things like this can give you a bit of an edge the brilliant thing about pellets is that until you actually soak them they will last you years so just look after them they're not cheap and certainly if you like to use some of the branded pellets it's just much more economical and it works out much more cost effective by measuring them out like this i've just mixed a pint of pellets there and i'll be quite honest I'll, that will probably last me two sessions in winter so just measure them out and once you get them soaked just right and prepared properly it's going to result in more fish in the net well i hope you've enjoyed this latest edition of the fishing basics series and i really hope you found it useful about how you could prepare your pellets for your next session if you have found it useful please give the video a thumbs up and i look forward to seeing you next time